To say the Stewart Boot Company is a time machine back to the old ways of doing things would be an understatement. There is, quite honestly, nothing really pretty about the place, not much new either. But if you want to visit a place that is 100% focused on making the best boots possible, Victor Borg and his band of bootmakers have to be near the top of the list. Well, it started in Leon, Mexico in 1940. And uh, I bought the company in 1970. And I greatly underestimated the difficulty of making boots, and I greatly overestimated my ability, but somehow I muddled through, and uh, 43 years later, I'm still here. Victor is still at it. So are many very good craftsmen, several who have been working here for decades. And everyone knows that the best boots start with the best leather. Horse leather is very, very strong. It's a little expensive, it breathes, it lasts for years and years and years. And cow leather is cheap, it doesn't breathe. Here's a piece of horse, feel this. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell which one is Much a softer. better piece of leather. Almost oh, yeah. chamois like Oh yeah. Here's one of my favorites. What? What this, is this? Did somebody make that pattern? No, no, this is wildebeest. God made that pattern. Uh, this is very, very good leather. Victor says shark is also a very good and tough leather, and you can hardly beat mule leather for toughness and protection against snake bites. There's something about the fibers in this leather that make it very difficult for anything to penetrate. Now once a customer picks his leather, the boot making is now in the hands of the craftsmen of Stuart Boots. First step is the cutting of the leather using this stamping machine. And then the pieces are glued and stitched together. Well, we ship boots everywhere. We've shipped boots recently to Ireland, Australia, uh, Great Britain, France, Canada. Can't those people get boots where they live? Yeah, but not as good as mine. <laughs> Victor doesn't mince words when he talks about the quality of his boots, and he sure doesn't have any nostalgia for handmade boots. So we don't do things by hand because they're cute. We do them by hand because it's better. Now, if somebody comes up with a machine that will do what we do and do it the way we do it and do it as good or better, I'll buy that machine in a heartbeat. I'm not stupid. I want to try to keep my prices down, but I've got to keep the quality up. Even the heels of the boots are handmade, built up with layers of leather, each piece glued in place, then nailed by this second generation boot maker. Finally, the heels and soles are sanded down and another pair of boots handed over to a happy customer. About 30, 35 years ago, I got my first pair and just recently I had them refooted and I probably have seven to 10 pair of Stuart boots. And handmade boots aren't just a luxury item for many of Victor's customers. I couldn't buy any pair of shoes that fit my feet because the front of my foot is wider than the heel. And so they would either slip off the back or they were too tight in the front. And now Victor's wife, Linda, has added another touch of leather by introducing her own line of handmade purses. Originally, Victor wanted to give the purse idea the boot, but they have become another success story because of the unique leathers. Not only is it full of python, on the inside of my purse, there you can spill anything inside this purse and it will not penetrate through, through the leather. Pride in purses, pride in the boots, and pride in knowing that a well-earned reputation for quality will be around for decades to come.